My name is Natalia Spicker and my business is called Emotional DNA. We call it Edna for short. And the value that it brings people that use this service is it allows you to see how your brain is designed and it proposes jobs based on your brain design. So you can find a career that is fulfilling and purpose-driven. I was hoping to meet like-minded entrepreneurs and learn from them, but also in, get inspired by their ideas and suggestions and also hear about their own ideas and journeys into what they're building and creating. So I was hoping to not only get clarity on what I wanted to build, but also really build a family and a network of people that would help me come, help me bring this idea to life and also be a sounding board as the idea progresses and keeps growing. So this is a business that I started with a friend of mine and um, that process was pretty lonely in terms of ideas and creativity into how to launch the business specifically in the United States because it's coming from another country. So I was really lacking a community of, like I said, soundboards and like-minded entrepreneurs. So really I wasn't doing much with building programs around this because I didn't know where to start. And so that's one of the uh, reasons I chose this particular group was to have a taste of what that would feel like. I personally started reaching out to like-minded people from my network, but because it wasn't done in a container or with a system like it does that was done this weekend, it was really hard to get tangible results and ideas that I could take back to the drawing board. So now I, I do have a few fresh ideas that I could take back with me and a system and an accountability group that can, you know, keep me steady as I try them out. So insights, I got so many that we're gonna need a whole episode to go over them, but the biggest thing that I learned was to trust myself and trust the vision that I originally have and also surround myself with people that come from different backgrounds and have different types of experiences uh, because I learned that perspective is a big part of the process here. And it's about not just hearing the perspective, but also opening yourself up to receive different feedback from different people. Um, and that makes me a stronger entrepreneur, but it also makes me a better leader than in my organization because I'm bringing in fresh perspective. Uh, but the tools that we were given here, besides the community and the feedback, were also a fantastic planner that Stop provided us with to not just help us understand how to like shape our financial um, health or at least our financial outlook when it came to this endeavor, uh, but also this planner it helps build accountability uh, in terms of having a daily practice where I can really hold myself to a vision and to bike-sized goals that I can accomplish every day. So I felt like that's going to help me stay clear and focused on you know action and bite-sized goals that I can that I can implement. Besides that, I think the biggest thing that that I gained here was a family, you know, uh, a soul tribe of sorts that is not just heart-centered and like-minded, but it's really committed to bringing ideas and services to the world that are going to make lives better, that are focused on raising awareness, consciousness, um, and really making lives better. So um, I'm honored to be a part of that and honored to have sat with them for three days. I think those three things, first of all, really represent me as a person, and they had done that prior to coming here, but I see how that is actually part of the entire process of uh, building something. It's, you know, having your business vision here, but having time for movement and physical activity to release any kind of stress and also build different types of bond and explore different kinds of physical challenges that actually resemble the level of grit and uncertainty that you would encounter in business and seeing how you can, how you could overcome those challenges by just setting your mind to it and really trusting the, the equipment, the tools, uh, the guidance, and even yourself as you're encountering these um, challenges like we did when we were canyoneering. And the spirituality side of it is something that was such a breath of fresh air because in most workshops or business focus um, trips that I've taken, it's usually um, not existent or an afterthought or, you know, we do a quick yoga session and then we call it a day. This was on another level. I noticed that we, as a collective group, helped each other identify emotional and spiritual blockage, blockages that we, each, in it of ourselves, we helped each other unblock. 
And we realized that by unblocking these things, we were able to really see clearly what the bigger picture was from a business perspective. Absolutely. This is something like I, uh, like anything I've ever done before. It's, um, it's something that will not just connect you to a bunch of amazing folks, but it will connect you to yourself more than probably three months working therapy or, um, or a, a silent retreat would. It is really something that will bring forth your vision, help you get clarity, but you're also leaving here full of insights on some wonderful people on yourself and on the perspective that your service or product is going to receive once it hits the market. You've had a break.